Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be going over some of my t-shirts. They are based on Halloween and horror. I did pick up a few of them. The newest one just came in today. It's at the very bottom of this uh, pile right here. It is an Elvira t-shirt and it's kind of representation of Bewitched, the 1960s uh, TV show. But anyway, it's a very cool looking t-shirt, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to go through all these t-shirts just to show you what I got so far. Now I'm not sure if my pinhead is in here or not because I can't seem to find it. So I don't know what's going on with it unless I got rid of it. I don't know. But anyway, let's start with the very first one. This was, in fact, you'll see a few of these that are very similar. They're Grim Reapers, okay? I like Grim Reapers. It's just something about them. Right? They're very cool. Uh, very evil in nature in some aspects. But anyway... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you and I'm going to pull the t-shirt out of the way so you can see the next one. Alright, so pull that one out of the way. Another Grim Reaper. Alright, so let me find a place where I can hang these up. There we go. The refrigerator. Okay, now this one here as you can see is really cool looking too. Again, very similar to the first one. I'm not sure where I got these from so I'm not even going to try to figure that part out. But anyway, that is a Grim Reaper. Alright, pull that one out of the way. And then we have a Frankenstein. I'm big into Frankenstein. If you've seen my videos, you know I have quite a few Frankenstein masks. And I got a Frankenstein figure from NECA. I believe it's the black and white version. I also have one of those. And I got a bunch of other stuff coming in. But anyway, I'm big into Frankenstein. I think he's a very cool monster, okay? That's what that looks like. Pull him out of the way. Again, another Grim Reaper. The wife likes to get these things for me. He says, hey, what do you think of this? I'm like, it's cool. It's Grim Reaper. Can't go wrong. Kind of reminds me of the Headless Horseman in a way. But not so much. But that's a very cool looking shirt. Okay. Alright, so let's get that out of the way. Now this one here is another Grim Reaper. As you can see, I'm a little obsessed with Grim Reapers. Alright. I'm going to show you what that looks like up close. Okay, I'm going to show you the bottom of it. That's very cool. Alright, moving on. Now this one here is a skull. I think I got it from Walmart of all places. It is a little tight. I don't like wearing tight t-shirts. But anyway, that's what she looks like. Okay. When I see now, I said, oh, that's cool. Except they didn't have it in a big enough size. But anyway, I got it. So, I mean, it fits a little tight. Which I'm not a big fan of, but it is what it is. Now, this one here is a skull. Now, as you can see under the arms, when you use this uh, deodorant or antiperspirant, it ruins your shirts. Okay, that's what that looks like. All right. The next one is yet again a Frankenstein. Only it has Doctor Frankenstein with Igor and Frankenstein. It's a very cool shirt. I believe I got this in Tennessee. I'm not positively sure. And that's what that looks like, guys. And that's what that looks like. It's a cool shirt. Now we're going to get into my Jason. Friday the 13th is my second all-time favorite franchise. Jason is very cool. I think he's cooler than Michael Myers. Don't get me wrong. I love Michael Myers. I got some Halloween um, Trick or Treat Studios masks based on um, Michael Myers. I got the 1978 The Shape mask. And I also got the 2018 mask. Which you can't put on your head because it's just too small. Especially for guys with big heads. Okay. But anyway, I got that and I got uh, a huge collection of prop knives. Along with the Jamie Lloyd mask. And also the young Michael Myers 1978 mask. I also got that one too. So I got a decent collection of uh, Michael Myers. Plus I got a bunch of NECA figures. So yeah, 
I like the franchise and stuff, but Jason is my all-time favorite when it comes to that kind of stuff. Next to Hellraiser. Hellraiser is my favorite franchise, hands down. All right, now, Friday. I got these from Kohl's. All right. That's what it is. Uh, Friday. It's supposed to be I Love Friday or some shit like that. But anyway, that's cool looking. When I wear this shirt, everybody's like, cool t-shirt, dude. I'm like, thanks, man. Now, this one here is yet another Jason. Which, there it is. I knew there was on a coat hanger. Hang on for a second, guys. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's what that looks like. Okay. Camp Crystal Lake, no place to hide. This next one is Halloween, okay? Because yes, I am a fan of Halloween, but I'm a bigger fan of the Friday the 13th. Kane Hodder, you can't go wrong. But anyway, and that's what that looks like, guys. Very cool shirt. This one fits nice, too. All right. Now we're going to get into the last one, which is Elvira. Now I'm not sure if I got any more coming in. I did have a pinhead. I don't. I think it's probably stuck in my drawer somewhere. Uh, that one's a smaller shirt, but it's a very cool looking shirt. Anyway, this is the newest one that came in. Just came in literally five minutes ago. So let me get around the camera here. And that's what she looks like. Let me pull back. I get these in 2x cuz I like them a little large because they will shrink on you Elvira now as you can see it's a bewitching uh, type situation here but it is very cool it's an Elvira t-shirt well that seems to be it guys on the t-shirt so far all right I hope you guys like this don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos and I did make a I did mention that I was going to actually show you my t-shirts, and I did, okay? So, we will see you guys later, okay? Alright, bye.